everybody. Welcome to the field trip, the Mad Rose D field trip 2018. Oh, I'm pathetic. Oh, excited? We're going to the zoo! All right, we got some explaining to do. We're going to the Bronx Zoo. Now, vegans are not uh, particularly fond of zoos, but this is probably one of the greatest zoos in the world. And a zoo like this that does conservation and education and treats its animals really well with beautiful habitats, I can get behind and support. It's just the zoos and like the swimming with the dolphins thing. I feel like that really exploits the animals. It's a fine line, but it's different. So that's all I'm going to say about that. If you're going to troll in the comments, whatever, but we're going to support uh, a place that takes excellent care of its animals and is there for the animals. So I'm very excited for the zoo because I've always loved animals so much. I've always enjoyed um, seeing them up close, discovering new species that I've never seen before. In 1,000 feet, keep left Thank to you. stay on I-84 <laughs> East. Okay. So we got a little bit of a late start, but isn't, yeah, I know. But isn't that always the way? We're chronically late. What can I say? Yeah, we'll get in a couple hours. Here. Yeah, we'll get it. You know what? We'll get in as much as we can handle anyway. <laughs> we're, we're getting older. And uh, it's a lot of walking. But I'm going to uh, cut this off here and the next clip's going to be the zoo because I want to give maximum attention uh, to the zoo in this maximum video. Battery. So, <laughs> Well, no, I brought an extra battery. So the battery's not the issue. It's I want to give maximum footage to the zoo. I'm so excited. You having a good time? <laughs> we ended up having to pay for parking even though they said that parking was free except by the circle but maybe i don't know you know what i don't even care right now i just want to go and see some animals and have a good time on vacation yeah all those <laughs> things yeah all things just keep getting better i hope so <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it is it says, notice me, I'm the best one here. Beautiful, purple. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is really cool. A lot of the exhibits don't have glass on the front. That's why they have these, um, like, shreddy doors over here so that the birds don't fly out. They're pretty amazing. It's amazing to see it up this close. Yeah, beautiful. Um, hello? <laughs> I think you need to go back in the house. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Hello. He is very social. He's curious. Yeah. Hello. I think he likes my shirt. Maybe he thinks I'm a bird. Look at all these guys lined up. It looks like a uh, cell out of Snow White or something, right? <laughs> it looks like somebody's putting on a show and they're all Yeah. Maybe he's reciting Shakespeare. Yeah. One man show. That one's still taking a bath over there. Looks like we made two new friends. Aww. Better eyelashes than I do. Nice fountain. Yeah. 
The Bronx Zoo was opened in 1899. Look at the uh, bird at the top throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> the iconic shots of New York. Yes, that's right. Well, that and the elephant house. Yeah. And right there. Yeah, this is the main entrance. Hello, beautiful. Oh. I'm in love. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. Man, how did I get the color? Yeah, from the shrimp. Uh, can you tell us where the shrimp is? No. So we can throw it down. <laughs> Back in the water. So we can release them. Yes. That's a plane go. Yeah. Yeah, look at that guy stood up. Hello, beautiful. He's just shaking his butt. Yeah. Very dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this is really cool. Shiny, he's dive bombing us. I know. That bird is huge in the middle there. Wow. They got a lot of little uh, ones with the red beaks. They're very brazen. Yeah. This is our town. Yeah. Sean, it's okay. Get out of here. You know what's good for you. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah. proud to be an American. Yeah, these, yeah, these colors don't run. Oh, wow. Look at that. He turns to the side just like on a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're beautiful. Yeah, you heard. Who, me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you think the one that you saved was big? <laughs> so <beautiful. laughs> wow. What's that? Is that a Komodo dragon? Yes. They're inside today, otherwise uh, I would have taken a picture of them. I don't know if we're going to get to them because we're trying to get to the most amount. We're trying to get everything we can. Yeah, because time is fleeting. <laughs> I'm going to do the time warp. Got to see as much as possible. Wow, that's probably like the original building. Yeah. Yeah. What I yeah, this is what I remember too. We used to see. We I, I actually have a photo of like when we saw the tapir, mm -hmm. and uh, it's probably taper. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, lots of chippies. Yeah. I think the rhino. He's out there. I don't know. I don't know. This is Not sure. See the rhino? Lean over. I'm gonna move in a second so yeah. we can see. Whoa. That ostrich is probably taller than Daddy or Sean. Yeah. And it looks this like is the largest living bird. It looks like a baby next to the giraffes. Wow, only elephants and giraffes stand taller. Wow. Wow. They said chop a four. <laughs> What a coincidence, you just bought one of them. <laughs> From like afar. Yeah. Well, that's why they have the net. <laughs> oh, I love them. It's like a mommy, daddy, and baby situation. So cool, we're in the dark, spooky tunnel. Oh, I hear crickets. I think they're fake. <laughs> oh, can you look, look through here? Oh. You see anything? Nope. Whoa, copy. Hey, Cappy. I'm in love. We'll get to it, Shawnee. We'll get to it. Shawnee, what do you see? Is that like Pumba? And the monkey has a baby? I guess that's an orangutan. They're all up in the trees. That's a Rafiki. Yeah, Rafiki, that's right. Honey, look, they came over to say hi to you. You said, you got any bugs on your tail? 
Huh? The big guy came right up to me. And oh, he did? I wonder why his tail is so short. He must have had an accident. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What? Yeah. Is this all on the inside? Huh? All this fudge? Is that on the inside? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Good. <laughs> wow. Hello. That's it. You like, you're like uh, at the baseball game yeah, behind home off. plate. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. You're beautiful. We love you. Wow. King Kong. Yeah, like King Kong. That's right, Shawnee. Wow. Hello. <laughs> All right, so oh, we're we're in the gorilla encounter. This is so amazingly cool. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't. No. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, they go back that way. Oh well. Hello, zebra. Yeah, that's what this one is. There's three different types of zebras. All right, here we go. There's a lot of bats in here. I see mice crawling around in there too. Hello. Smells a little bit like pee pee in here. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, and Begley Jr. monkeys. Hello. Wow. Ah. He's beautiful. Those birds have the same kind of nose he does. Oh, there's another one. Oh. No, I won't drop it. <laughs> Fish are great. Ugh. Yeah, really, they're right behind them. That's probably the place to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Look at how long it's been there. What? Look at how long it's been there. I know. Those are really long and that's that? a big fish. Holy cow. Yeah. He's just walking. He said, what's it like to walk on two legs? Mm -hmm. To spend the night. Now, we all know that a species that is extinct no longer exists, like the dinosaurs or the dodo. The next animal we'll see was on the verge of extinction. In <laughs> fact, the Mongolians. Currently Hello. classified as vulnerable, these They're deer adorable. are continuing to lose their wild space. Mm. In many places, see only one of them in the exhibit. Look over to your right, walking down towards the middle of the exhibit is our Amor tiger or Siberian tiger Anakin. Once again, look over to your right, he's now oh. walking a little bit past the top edge of his pool. Now we know it's Anakin because he's missing stripes on his side. Not because of an injury or anything, but that's just the way his stripes grew out. He's now walking over to the left hand side of his exhibit. Oh, these wow. are the Gower. Oh. The ones with horns curving outward then up are the males, and the ones with horns curving inward wow. are the females. Hiding behind the tree is our Gower calf. That's a baby Gower wow. hiding behind the tree. Hello, they're smaller animals with mm -hmm. white underbellies. The ones with darker coats and horns, those are the males. And the ones without horns and large herd of large animals. These are the Barasinga deer. The Barasinga are also known as swamp deer because of the habitat that they live in. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. 
African and Asian elephants are well known throughout the world, but unfortunately, they are struggling in the wild. Here we can see the Bronx Zoo's Asian elephant. Her name is Happy, and she's about 50 years old. Aww. Now remember to remain seated. My friend in the back, remember to remain seated. <laughs> Like all other large land mammal, lumbering towards the monorail, we can now see our Indian rhinoceros, Kali. Now she is very, very close to the rails today. In fact, you can see the circular fences. We can now see a group of large brown animals. Those are sandbar deer, the largest deer in southern Asia. Males can stand up to five feet tall at the shoulder and weigh as much as 650 pounds. They also have antlers that grow up to three feet long and have three points on each bar. Among the sandbar, you can see much smaller animals. And the smallest animals in this exhibit, those are the hog deer. Look over to your right, you can see sandbar deer. And in the middle of the field, we can see hog deer, which get their name because they're short and heavy, like a hog. They also move like hogs. They creep, run low, and duck under things rather than leap over them like most other deer do. Baby markhor to the right of the boulder. Look even further to your right, you can see yet another baby markhor along with a markhor with very large horns. That is a male markhor. In fact, that's one of our oldest males. His name is Herb. The horns of the male markhor can grow up to five feet long. They also look like they're growing large beards. Yes. Scattered about this first section. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Goodbye. Thank you. Uh, Flash. Furry tractor. Yeah. Oh. The zoo closes in exactly one minute and we're nowhere near our car. They're bad. I know. Hello, babies. We love you. Oh, oh look at that us. one. When we go hiking, tell your friends not to. <laughs> back to the car. Shawnee, what'd you get? Oh, red panda. What did baby Maddie get? I got a giraffe. Oh, and a hat. <laughs> I love that hat because it reminds me of the subway. Yeah, I treated myself a little bit. Yeah. You got a hat too, but how come you're not wearing it? You get in the car. Okay. <laughs> now we have to fight off the uh, traffic. It's a two hour ride. Yeah. That was such a fun day. But that was the best day of vacation. It really was. That was so much fun. The exhibits are even better than they seem when you look at it online. Like, it's incredible. You're like so close and you're interacting with these animals and oh, it's just amazing. It's breathtaking. It's beautiful. Hi. <laughs> he said, did you see any of my kind at the zoo? Um... No, Homer, we didn't. No. <laughs> he said, why? I'm underrepresented. There were, it, I tell you, there was a lot of uh, squirrels <laughs> and a lot of chipmunks. Yeah. Sorry I didn't film dinner. We just had some leftovers when we got home late because the traffic was ridiculous coming back from the city. We totally forgot it was a holiday weekend. Boy, people must have been trying to get out of the city for the weekend. And since we live in vacation land, USA, <laughs> I guess they were all trying to get up here. I don't know. But everybody's exhausted. And what else was I going to say? I, I had something that I wanted to say and now I totally forgot. Probably because I've been sleeping for the last um, hour or so. Oh, Shawnee. So cute. Shawnee got the red panda. And you got the gone. giraffe. Yeah. That's so nice. They're so cute. The little faces. Oh. oh it's gone. Woke up, girls. It's gone. Woke up. <laughs> I never knew that Sean was such a big fan of red pandas. Before. He loved the red panda. When we were on the uh, monorail at the end, they had a red panda. And uh, unfortunately, no, he was in his uh, little crate thing. Yeah. And he didn't want to come out. So 
There was no red panda. And Sean lo looked really disappointed. He was looking around um, hardcore. Yeah, maybe next time. We're definitely planning another trip back because we probably only saw about half of everything. Yeah, there's so much more to see. Yeah, so much more to see. We saw most of the special stuff that you have to pay extra for. <laughs> Minnie, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Minnie, no! Oh. No. Whoa. Okay. I thought we came home from the zoo. That was a little aggressive. That was not good, baby girl. No. Oh boy. She did not want him near the giraffe. Okay. Are you okay, baby? I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Lucy wouldn't do anything to him. Oh. So he's, he's my size. You friends? Yes. Homie, oh, come back. You she come said, back. get him out of here. This is my time. <laughs> Baby. All right, Minnie. Minnie girl. All right, Minnie. I think we're all ready for bed here. I, I think so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nope. No. Lulu. Oh, come on, Lucy. Leave him alone. <laughs> One swipe from homie and she'd be like, Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep. And she did get smacked in the face a couple times by him. She got quizzed in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Then, hey, let them just work it out. They're just talking. Yeah. Said, I'm embarrassed now. I lost my temper. <laughs> I lost my cool in front of everyone. <sighs> At least she's not running around the streets of Manhattan with a chicken. What? It's commercial. Oh. All right. Can you uh, wake up and... <laughs> ah! Ah! All right, guys. It was an awesome day. We had so much fun, and I'm glad that we got to bring you guys along with us. And we hope you had fun too. Yes. Um, enjoy your weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. And until